faithfully filled up. Hope you all saw my live blog and RPG last night. And I got a message for all you armchair convoyers out there. I need you to get on Google and look up every church along our route. It's Sunday. Call them. Get them on the phone. Call them. Tell them we're coming and why. This is an information war. We can't get the media. So let's call the churches and get the churches of this country who couldn't, you could go to a bar during COVID, but you couldn't go to church. So come on, let's stop this tyranny now. And it starts by using your telephone, making phone calls. And today's Sunday. It's the day the Lord has given us. So please call your churches and get them behind us. I would like to see churches on every single overpass as we travel down to Texas. So get on the phone, look them up, Google them, and call. Every one of them's got a phone number. Call them, tell them, get the information out. I love you. We got to make this work. Now, before you leave and you scoot out of here, you were moving pretty fast. I want to see you keep the speeds down in here. Oh, yeah. Well, I got this. I got this. Tell everybody who you are. Oh, my name's Amona Miller, and I'm from Branson, Missouri. I got a special ne message for all of you vets out there. In Branson, November 5th through the 10th is Veterans Week. Come out and let us love you for everything you did to keep peace in this country and to keep our freedom. Because when you get there, I can guarantee you, you come to Veterans Village Day Room and there's gonna be this little gal with this funny little hat and her arms outstretched and I guarantee you a mama hug. So you come see me in Branson, but in the meantime, we're in an information war and your telephones and your laptops are our weapons. Use them. Make phone calls daily. Armchair convoyers. I've been riding on this convoy from the, my living room since I left California. Every day. So please, we need you to fight this fight. Please. I love you and God bless you. And good morning. Y'all, it's the day the Lord has given us to make this Roll! Count! Love you. Love you too. Keep the speed down in camera. Oh yeah. My chair. <laughs> but that's this wonderful chair. I love it. I, the stimulus package. I got my stimulus buddy. $895. It does 15 mile an hour for up to 15 miles. And, and you put this awesome basket on the front. Yeah, it's a Mototech. And the nice thing about the Mototech chair is you simply grab a hold of it like this uh, uh, and fold it up, fold up into a suitcase. That is awesome. And then open it I'm up. Jealous. And to open it up. Well, you we got something going on with your. Uh... Oh, that's something that has to But you simply grab a hold of the handles, put your foot up here, give it a kick, and it's ready to go. All right, let's Total see. weight. Let's see how fast you can get down yeah. there to Trucker G's truck. All right, here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Well, it would help if I put it in gear. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Can anybody tell me what's missing? It's a beautiful car. But what is what is missing?
couple different spots we may end up, and we're working on that right now. We're waiting on some phone calls back. We got a couple good spots, and uh, we're just trying to decide which one we actually want to work with. Uh, so, but we got a long way to go to get there, and uh, all of them we can't get into till this evening, regardless anyway, because it's it's the Lord's Day everywhere, but especially down in Texas. So. Um, we're going to go up here and uh, get fuel at the loves, but I want everybody to understand right now we're going to have Take out best camp. it work in a different way than normal. Since we're here, we're going to have someone here directing a few at a time to go up there. We're going to do Joe anyone that needs Pete, gas take out best camp. first. We have a, uh, so we're going to send a few up. We'll have people at the pumps to fill you up. If you want to go in the store, do <clears> not do it while you're at the pump. When we're done pumping the gas, come back here or go in and get what you need. Come back here and then we'll send more people up and then we're going to do anyone that needs diesel last because of the way we have to pay for it at the Loves up there. And then it just creates less mass confusion and cluster while we're, while we're in, in there. Um, so if everybody understands that, we're going to do, do anyone that needs gas first. We'll have someone down here directing you a few at a time to go up and then when you get fuel, you come back and then we'll do anyone that needs diesel last. So I just wanted to let everybody know that before we get started here and uh, know that then we'll be gassed up to, to head down to Texas. So um, last night, uh, a few of us got to go to the dirt track over here. They had a night where they honored, uh, honored our first responders, specifically a policeman's family that got killed in the line of duty from Arkansas here. And um, the track owner heard that we were here and, and asked that a few of us come down. And we actually got to drive the trucks with the cop cars around the track last night and speak to the whole crowd about the convoy. Yeah, there's a lot of video. Wizzy was there, and, and Young was there, and it was a uh, live stream from my Facebook on the Convoy's Facebook page also. So um, that was that was quite an honor to be asked to participate in that when they're honoring a, a fallen officer and um, be able to speak to the entire crowd uh, that was there about what the Convoy's doing and, and what we're about and, and why we're going to California now and how we're going back to D.C. So... Um, I want to thank the I-30 Speedway for that, and uh, the word the word's getting out because, from what I understand, they actually contacted us when they heard we were going to be around. So, um, you know, what we're doing is, even though it may not seem like it at times, it's it's working. It's waking Thanks, people Scott. up, and we got to keep uh, we got to keep on pushing and, and keep people fire, I mean. keep people awake. Um, <clears throat> And, and let them understand what's going on. Let them understand that we can still stand up. And if we unify together as Americans, not as left, right, or whatever, that we can we can keep our country and we can take our country back to the way it needs to be and should be and was intended to be by our founding fathers. So I uh, appreciate all of you for being here and rolling with us. And we uh, can't stop, won't stop is what I like to say. So, um... I just want to say that anybody that's rolling with us here, doesn't matter if you're a truck driver or not, I know everybody makes this into some trucker thing, but we have way more cars as usual in campers than we do we trucks, which is awesome. That's why it's the People's Convoy. And thank you all for that. So we're going to keep going on with this. We're going to keep trying to raise this awareness. Uh, you know, that I'm just going to say this. Whoever stayed behind, you're missing out. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, you're missing Here's a good opportunity to raise some awareness before it starts. We're going to end up going down here, going across the southern border at some point, which everybody's concerned about also. And uh, actually, when we go through El Paso, for those of you that have done it, you'll be able to see the actual wall that separates. It's only a couple hundred yards from the interstate when we go through El Paso. So um, that won't be for a couple days yet, but Texas is a very, very long state if you've never driven through it. <laughs> um, and uh, we have to, you know, last night when I, I talked just a little bit in front of that crowd at the racetrack about these 
bills that were going out to uh, try and stop and just kind of not in the government garb that they're worded in, but told them, hey, you know, they're trying to make, you know, basically free speech if you don't agree with the government illegal and take doctor's licenses if, if uh, they don't agree with the government and, you know, try and make it legal to uh, basically euthanize humans after they're born. Um, and they weren't too impressed either, but a lot of people don't realize that this isn't just going on in California. Since we've started raising awareness to this, it's come to our attention that uh, there's actually a few other states that have similar similar things going on, Maryland and New York being one of them, apparently. Um, so I just want you guys to know that this is working. People are, people are looking into this. Uh, we have a lady here that's been following along with us that called all the California senators, senators and representatives, and uh, a lot of them didn't even know about these bills that we're going to California to talk about, and that's that's what they do. They they find these ways to slip these into something, okay? Um, for those of you in trucking, when we had the ELDs get thrown in, they did the same thing. They said, oh, they're about safety, and they throw them in a bigger bill, and it got passed. When we uh, took our organization in D.C. to fight those, they a lot of them didn't even know what an ELD really was or what it did and how it tracked us and stuff like that. So, um, Uh, get your vehicle. 
vehicles and uh, get ready to uh, go get some fuel over here. We'll have people that are uh, guiding you out. We're doing the pledge this morning. Oh, uh, yeah, the pledge. You're right. I didn't know if William did it or not, so. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.